My name is Jim Green, and I'm a gunsmith. I have a small gunsmithing shop in down east Maine, Harrington. Today's rifle we're going to uh, discuss and disassemble is Winchester Model 1907. You know, the patent for these rifles was from 1901 by a Winchester employee by the name of uh, Thomas Johnson. The first rifles that were built off this patent were the Model 1902 semi-automatic 22 rifles and later on the Model 63 Winchesters in 22. This particular rifle is a semi-automatic, one of the early designs, and uh, <clears throat> it works off of a blowback. The cartridge is a 351 caliber. It's an odd little cartridge, pretty hard to find nowadays. They have about the power of a 357 Magnum. They didn't catch on in popularity with deer hunters very much, but during World War I, several militaries were issued these, uh, mostly the French and the Russians. The British used a few of them, and a couple of these actually saw uh, use during a punitive ex expedition uh, under Persian when he went south to Mexico. This is a semi-automatic rifle. They came stock with a five-round detachable magazine. I've seen them available in 10s and 15s. And uh, one unique little feature about this rifle is the way that the rifle cocks. You just have a little uh, rod that protrudes from the front. You just pull it back, and that's ready to go. So with any other disassembly, what you're going to do is make sure that the rifle is not loaded and the magazine is removed. And I'm going to go ahead and grab my little magnetic dish back here to put parts in. So we're going to put all of our parts in here as we disassemble the gun. They're, they're a relative, relatively simple design, and if you're going to just do a basic field cleaning, they're, they're really easy to do. Back here at the back, you'll notice you have a knob and a detent. Push down on your detent and unscrew that little knob. Sometimes it can be a little tough. There we go. Now, once you have that knob uh, loosened up, all you have to do to take it apart to clean it is cock the gun and just snap it apart. For basic field cleaning, that's going to be about it. Now, we're not going to disassemble the trigger, uh, trigger mechanism or anything. And what you want to keep in mind is when you're cleaning this, <coughs> you, don't want to, you don't want to pull the trigger and let the hammer forward because it becomes difficult for you then put the gun back together. So if you uh, need to clean anything, just release the hammer forward and just blast all in here with some good cleaning solvent. But make sure that you've got it cocked back before you put the gun back together. Okay. Now, to so disassemble it for the rest of it, if you notice up here on the front, you have a little castellated nut. It takes a special kind of spanner wrench, but a shortcut that I use, I've got a bolt disassembly tool to remove extractors off Model 98 Mausers, and they seem to fit right inside there pretty well and you can loosen them up but you'll turn this little screw right here remove that castle nut ah getting ahead of myself need to uh, drive that dovetail out of the front side uh, front side out of the dovetail right there otherwise you can't get the nut off the front of the gun There we go. All right, and once you get that slid forward a little bit, you can grab right here on the front of the little piece, pull that out. Now what you're going to have, you're going to have a little short rod and a spring. You remove that little spring, set that off to the side. You can take your castle nut off the front, and everything else slides right off the front of the barrel. And you can just set all this to, off to the side together. Because if you have to disassemble this, you'll drive a cross, uh, cross pin out of here, pull that knob off the front, and remove this out of the back. But we're just going to leave that together. Then you remove your hand guard. Now, a lot of these 1907s and some of the later model 1910s, and even the earlier 1905s, they had a tendency to beat the crap out of the forearm. And this one's cracked and been repaired, but not very well. So I'm going to have to repair this later. Now to remove the entire uh, forward part of it, pull back on it and hold it in place, you'll see there's a little screw slot right there. 
This is going to be like a little guide rod, so what you'll do is remove this little guide rod. It's threaded in, into the receiver. A little bit tricky on disassembly sometimes. You're going to hold that back so you can get to it. And that spring's pretty stout. Now once you have that threaded rod screwed loose, now this is going to be the tricky part right here. You'll start putting it full, pulling forward on it, but you want to keep your hand covering this here because this is an extremely strong and really long recoil spring. You definitely don't want to lose an eye with this. Alright, then you'll pull straight back on it and lift and then remove your bolt and this really, really nice, big, heavy counterweight. Now you can see that you have everything removed from the action. Let me set that off to the side. Now to get your firing pin out, get the block here. There's going to be a small little firing pin retaining pin right inside. We'll drive that out. And what I like to do is push in on the firing pin with my hand that I'm holding the punch with and drive that pin out. And you can, now you can remove your firing pin. Firing pin spring. And everything's out. And that's basically your model 1907 Winchester basically stripped completely down. Thank you for watching this latest Gunworks video. Down East Gunworks is a full service farm repair service for all your long guns and handguns that includes a high tech machine shop for tooling obsolete parts. Old or new, if you have a farm that needs attention, Gunworks can probably fix it, solve it, code it, and make it work. If you're living in Down East Maine, come by the shop for a visit. We're located on Route 1 in Harrington. If you live elsewhere, you can reach us by going to the website www.downeastgunworks.com or calling the shop at area code 207-483-2175. If you found this video helpful or interesting, please leave me a comment and rate the video. If you subscribe to my YouTube channel, you'll always know when I've posted something new. And thanks again for watching.